Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Downtown Conventional Center. It's got enough room for all of us. The Lord's 54th annual Passover. Last year, brothers and sisters showed up from all over the world rocking ancient garments and glorious apparel in order to serve the Most High in Christ. Now, it's that time again. Commander General Johannes putting out the decree for all brothers and sisters to show up sundown, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us at the Sheridan in Raleigh, the hotel right downtown. It's at 421 South Salisbury. The Passover is right up the block at the convention center. Literally within walking distance. Make sure you pull up. Make sure that you do your due diligence because rooms are going fast and they are limited this weekend. You understand? We have months in advance of preparation. Do not wait till the last minute to get your room. The Lord's 54th annual Passover, Saturday, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us there. I'm sending curses to them enemies. Since you like to say money is the root of all evil, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And the proof of that is Stephen A. Smith had so much to say about Kyrie Irving when Kyrie Irving said the Jews are black. And then when Jerry Jones, the racist white owner of the Dallas Cowboys, was found out to be in a picture that tried to stop black kids from integrating in schools, Stephen A. Smith now supports Jerry Jones. You know why? Because Stephen A. Smith loves money. And when you love money, you compromise your integrity, your morals, and the thing that's right. If Stephen A. Smith spoke against Kyrie, he should have spoke against Jerry Jones being a racist. It doesn't matter how long ago it was, it's wrong. And he should have said that. But you look at our black leaders, you look at the black leaders and the Christian church, our black politicians, our black preachers, they love money. And that's why they don't speak the truth according to the Bible. That's why they won't say and stand up for what's right because of the love of money, the love of mammon. That's what the Bible says. Your Christian pastor is not in the business of telling you the truth. These Christians running around here thinking they serving Jesus, learn from pimps and liars. And the sad part is, some of you Christians are actually genuine and sincere in trying to serve God. The problem is, you got sidetracked by a pimp pastor who loves money more than he loves you. That pastor would not save your life if he had to give his money up. These pastors don't walk in the footsteps of Christ. Christ laid down his life for his people. Now, what are you Christians willing to lay down? You couldn't even not celebrate Thanksgiving. That's right. How the hell are you going to claim to serve God and you went and celebrated Thanksgiving? You don't give a damn about nothing except what you can put in your mouth and in your belly. You understand? Where's the Christian love for the Native Americans? You understand? I thought you loved everybody. You understand? We found out just who you love. You Christians love the pilgrims. You love the oppressor and not the oppressed. And you learn this from the filthy pimp pastors who love money more than they love God. You know how much money these black pastors have made from black people? They've made billions of dollars from the black and Hispanic community. And look at the black and Hispanic communities. We live in poverty. We live in shambles. But meanwhile, the churches are still thriving. The churches are still able to pay their bills while the church goers can't pay their bills. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to you? Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense at all. You better open your eyes and realize your pastor, your mama's pastor, these Christian leaders love money than they will ever love you. They don't love you, man. COVID-19 proved it. You understand all that healing power they claim to have. All that praying that they do. Where was all that praying and healing power during the COVID-19 pandemic when the Lord plagued this place? 
If any time you pastors should have been on the front lines, it should have been during the COVID-19 pandemic. You should have been healing God's people. If you had those powers, if you claim to love God's people, but what you find out is those Christian pastors, they went back into their mansions with their cars and their private jets, and they lived deliciously during the COVID-19 pandemic while we watched our family members die, while we watched us lose our jobs. And many of us, because we live on the bottom of society, we were the essential workers. So guess what? Many of us still had to go and go to work while there was a damn pandemic going on. Your pastor works for the oppressor. Every Christian pastor works for the oppressor because the Christian religion is the religion of the oppressor. Christianity doesn't teach the Bible. You ask a Christian right now, is Jesus black? And if they say anything other than yes, they don't follow the Bible. That's one of the quickest ways you can find out who really serves the God of this Bible. Every Christian will tell you that they love God they serve God, and they follow, They love Jesus, and they love this Bible. You understand? The reality is, when you go into these records, when you open up the Bible and read what it says, and require what God wants from his people, Christians hate God. The perfect example is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving proved who loved God and who didn't love God. You Christians went and you ate all that food and you spent time with family and you prayed to God thinking that God honored that stinking feast. God hated that feast. God was against your Thanksgiving dinner. You know why? Because God doesn't support the murder of his people. That's right. You understand? Your pastor supports the murder of his people, but God doesn't support the murder of 77 million Native Americans. No matter how else, how else you want to prepackage today. Well, I'm just spending time with family. Well, I'm just going to get something to eat. Can't you do that the other 364 days of the year? That's right. But you have to do it when the oppressor says, because you've been taught to follow the oppressor from these Christian pastors. You Christian pastors are disgusting. You are absolutely disgusting, and the Lord is revealing exactly what you care about. All you care about is making sure that you get paid at the end of the day. You're like a damn car salesman. You'll tell the people whatever you have to tell them to make sure you can make a sale. And that's what you've been doing for 400 years in that church. Lying to God's people on the oppressor's behalf. Lying about what this book says. You can't even tell the truth about who God's people are. God does not love everybody. That's not in this book. God has a certain people that he loves. And he loved those people so much that he sent Christ to die for those people. And who are those people that God loves? The children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you don't think that we could be God's people because you view us as such a low thing in this place. You look at how we suffer from drug addiction. You look at how we murder each other. You look at how our women go missing and our children are molested. You look at our current conditions and you say, surely these people can't be God's people. And you look at the Jewish man and you let him lie about being the Jews because he has money. He owns Hollywood. He owns the record labels. He controls the politicians. You respect money. And that's why the Lord sent prophets who didn't give a damn about how much money you have who don't give a damn about your status in this society. Right is right and wrong is wrong. The love of money is the root of all evil. You can't buy commander to the honor. You understand? You can't buy that, brother. That's why the truth abides in the ISUPK. Because you can't buy any of these brothers. You can't pay us to not tell the truth. There's no amount of money that will get us to not say the white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of, and the Jews are black. They have always been black. They've never been white. There's no amount of money that you can pay us to stop us from telling the truth according to this Bible. And y'all think it's a conspiracy theory. You don't know these records because you learn these records from dummies. You learn these records from white men who think they're experts on black culture. That's what this Bible is, black culture. And Christianity is the breaking down of this Bible through the lens 
of a people that this Bible's not talking to. Right. You understand? That's why you believe that snakes talk. That's why you believe that God had sex with a human and that they're half human, half angels running around here. Like this is some Greek Roman mythology trash. You believe fairy tales <laughs> because you learn from a people who create lies to benefit them. Right. The Bible is a black man's book and it's talking to black people. All right, SUPK presents the 54th annual Feast of Unleavened Bread. Last year we did it big. This year is going to be way big, big, big. More brotherhood, more sisterhood, more UPK. On Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, we're going to be at 421 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Sheraton Raleigh Hotel Ball. We call it all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians to come join us. To your third aisle peephole, line for line is shit too easy. It's like a free throw. Mastered the game too early. This bitch is Remember, admission to the Passover is two hundred dollars per adult. That's two hundred dollars per adult. For more information. Call 919-697-8257. Call 919-697-8257.